met a group singing in a corner one night um, and uh, called the Juveneers. Came good friends with a guy by the name of Dave White. And David and I uh, wrote a song together called Do the Bop. And we went in and played that for our vocal coach, and who was our kind of producer. Um, and he uh, liked it, and um, we went and recorded. I sang lead, and Dave's group, the Juveneers, sang the background. And that was called Do the Bop. And I uh, went and played it for Dick Clark, who suggested that we rewrite some of the lyric. And um, I was under contract at the time to Capitol Records. And Capitol was really just about getting into rock and roll. They didn't have many rock and roll records. And they truly didn't understand the Do the Bop record. And so we went in the studio with Dick Clark's suggestion of rewriting the lyric and something about record hops. And Do the Bop became At the Hop. And um, we recorded with uh, Dave's group, the Juveneers and uh, his lead singer, who was Danny. Uh, we renamed the group uh, Danny and the Juniors, because there was the four freshmen, and there was a, a seniors, so we thought that uh, the Juniors, nobody's got that yet. So it became Danny and the Juniors, and um, the song was at the hop, and the rest uh, became a rock and roll history with that group, and rock and roll here to stay. I produced both of those records. And it was snowing out back, and it was a beautiful sight, and they opened the back doors, and all the snow was coming down, and you know, a lot of people remind me of that particular performance or the, or American Bandstand. It was quite a cute, uh, cute idea to do that.